And welcome, everyone, to the Dungeon Junkies podcast. I am your DM this time, Alex. And with me, I also have, to my left here... Walter! (laughs) Blitz! Bruce! Great! (laughs) We got some new (laughs) characters. We are also following along with the Guildmaster's Guide to Ravnica, starting our adventure right there. And uh, why don't we start with some character introductions. Give us a a description of our characters, just real quick. Uh, Walter? I don't want to do that. God damn it. Yeah, so uh, that's a pretty good start for Walter. Um, He doesn't want to do any of this. Uh Kind of got drug into this whole being a guild member thing. Yeah. Spent most of his uh, 62 years uh, minding his own damn business Mm -hmm. as a homeless man in the Undercity and... uh, Managed to stay alive, mm-hmm. which is quite a success on its own. Um, yeah. But he hasn't fared too well mm. health-wise due to, you know, living on the streets. Uh, f- about a year ago, he happened upon an area that was um, had a Medusa moving through the area. Mm. So he, he came across her. Uh, not, not like a layer or anything like that. She's a civilized Medusa. Not so civilized enough that she wouldn't want to murder him. Mm-hmm. Uh, but she did find it kind of funnier. Mm-hmm. She's like, I could kill this, but he, but he's kind of like more in my way and annoying, and he stinks. Mm-hmm. And it'd be really funny if I made him work for me, mm. <laughs> <laughs> and I just and just oh, made yeah. his life miserable, yeah, yeah. even yeah. more miserable. And that's mm-hmm. what she's done, and mm-hmm. she has kind of forced me to be her kind of slave, yeah, sort of, yeah. Okay. yeah. And so I work for her for the Golgari Swarm. Mm-hmm. Great, awesome. Yeah. And I, oh, I'm a druid. I'm mm. a druid. Druid. Okay. Cool. Nice. All right, my character is Blix. Blix with three X's. It's just Blix. Three X's. <laughs> a goblin alchemist, part of the Azet League, mm-hmm. and I got kicked out of my little goblin street gang because I was a little too obnoxious and I was always playing with playing with shit and mm-hmm. fucking with things I was not supposed to be. No. So they put my ass with the scientists and stuff like that. Yeah. And I ended up succeeding. And a little obnoxious. I like lightning a lot. Mm-hmm. Lightning and fire and explosions. And Great. It's going to be another obnoxious mm-hmm. character. <laughs> another one. Well, it's very fitting for the Azet League. It, the... Yeah. Oh, and my... I have a rival. Mm-hmm. I hate him. His name's Garrix. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's it. Old Garrix. <laughs> Fucking and we might learn about him a little more later on. I Who sure knows? Hope, I sure hope we learn about him. I already <laughs> like Garrix. Yeah, everyone likes Garrix yeah. more. <laughs> and our last character here. Um, so the um, I choose to be a uh, barbarian um, who's a minotaur mm-hmm. named uh, Bruce Bracca. Minotaur! Yeah. Uh, he's part of the uh, Gru- Gruel mm-hmm. Um clan and his specific clan is the gravel hide yeah so um my character is very slow and stupid um as a a good barbarian should be Mm -hmm. yeah and (laughs) um one a couple of things about um my character specifically is his uh parents or his father was a renowned warrior and mm-hmm. he went into retirement and yeah. now he does executions as a side hustle mm-hmm. um, <laughs> and uh he his father wanted to like pass down this as a family tradition they mm-hmm. always become the executioners of the yeah. town yeah. Uh, yeah and like his great grandfather's <laughs> been an executioner great mm-hmm. great grandfather you know it just keeps on going up mm-hmm. um and um <clears throat> And as to why he, so he decided to leave his, uh, I guess, town or his clan to Mm -hmm. go out and adventure. And that's where he, how he ends up here. Okay, great. Uh, And I do want to go into a little bit of a description of the three guilds that you guys are in. And uh, as the other guilds come upon us, uh, I'll describe them in detail. Uh, But for Golgari... Golgari is the best, maybe. Uh, <laughs> not really, because they live in the Undercity, so that's uh, that's a little debatable. Our time's um, coming. <laughs> yes, uh, they live in the Undercity, and they value not only life but the value of death and bringing things possibly back to life. Uh, so they often mess with 
uh, mushrooms and the dead and zombies and stuff like that. Um, Lion King's our favorite movie. Yes, sure. Mm-hmm. Circle of Life. Yeah, that's that's great. That's awesome. Uh, Circle of Life. And, I think my favorite movie would be like Hot Rod. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, that's a close second for the Golgari. <laughs> and, we actually all love that fucking movie. <laughs> so the Golgari are very often uh, associated with the ground and bugs and diseases and all sorts of stuff insects. that are associated They're with death. Insects. insects. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> Whoa. Wow. Well, that, I mean, diseases. I guess to some people. <laughs> Drug addiction. Well, no. That's the I don't thief. think so. <laughs> yeah, that's the thief guild. They're about life and death. So, <laughs> uh, now the Azet League is more... Uh, a bunch of nerds. A bunch of nerds, yeah. really, truly. Yeah. Uh, they're associated with a, a bunch of different laboratories and they uh, like Lightning to do all sorts of different experiments and they mess with technology they're engineers scientists all sorts of stuff like that uh, they're pretty cool uh, they're the most often to be used with different technologies and stuff so um, cool very story. cool yeah. yes. and uh, okay. now the last one gruel the gruel is quite simple they're just straight barbarians uh, they usually don't care for the constructs of society and uh, civilization, so they usually like to uh, fuck that shit up in a way, uh, often invading uh, cities and towns and just destroying stuff and, uh, you know, just being uh, general barbarians. Uh, what Bruce does. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and uh, very fitting that you're a barbarian. Gotta do what I gotta do. Yeah. <laughs> Put the lime in the coconut. <laughs> <laughs> and so you guys are together in the city of Ravnica, uh, a very large city with uh, plenty of different precincts that you guys can will be able to explore in the future. Uh, not now. Not yeah, yet. Not <laughs> We're getting drunk. No fun allowed. Yes. And uh, along... This uh, world uh, of Ravnica, there is also something called the Guild Pact, which is a a pact of sorts, a guild pact, uh, and it's a pact between guilds that um, are usually associated with uh, peace and less conflict, but as time has gone forward, uh, the leaders of each guild have decided that they don't really like it so much, and they've tried to work their way around each little guild pack, trying to change stuff up uh, and trying to generally get around the guild pack to for their own purposes, for each of their own purposes. Yeah. The living guild pact is dead. The cycle continues and time of the Golgari is upon us. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, you guys start in the city of Ravnica, and we're going to go ahead and get started here. Uh, so... Now that you guys are ready, let's begin. Roll initiative! I'm <laughs> Battle! You're dead! Fuck you! <laughs> oh, no <Battle>. character! <laughs> Life in the 10th district is never dull. A hub of constant activity, it always offers a new opportunity, a new challenge, a new intrigue. It is a place where a promising adventurer like you can find your path to glory, riches, or power through your allegiance to your guild. But first, you'll need a job that will help you prove your worth. Today is your lucky day. This afternoon, you received a brief note from one of your contacts. I heard today from someone who is looking for help finding something. Seems serious. Might be a good opportunity for you. Meet outside Sawtooth Prison at dusk. At the appointed time, you find yourself gathered with other like-minded individuals outside the front door to the functional and unremarkable Sawtooth Prison. And this is where you guys will begin. You guys have met in front of the Sawtooth Prison at dusk. Was, and, was there an, somebody else we're meeting, or it's just us three? There is someone that you're meeting uh, okay. that is beyond you guys. Um, but it doesn't seem like uh, they're there yet. Mm. You guys are just kind of waiting there right now. Um, but if you guys want to get uh, maybe associated, now that you guys have arrived... Okay, so I'm wearing brown tattered robes, and I got my hood up, and I, I would just, I'd slowly approach the area. Mm-hmm. I would not talk to any of y'all, because I wouldn't, <laughs> I, well, would I know that neither of them are the one I'm looking for? 
you can ask them. You, you oh, might we not know. okay. We didn't come together. We're like arriving. No. Separately. Yeah, you guys are arriving separately oh, okay. and together. So. Okay. So mm-hmm. the um, so Bruce as he's walking up, <laughs> he's looking at like a hand, like a like a, a little map, I guess, mm-hmm. and he's saying out loud, uh, "Sawtooth prison, sawtooth prison, <laughs> sawtooth." Oh, oh. Oh, <laughs> oh, like a sawtooth prison. It's right here. Nice, great. And I guess I guess Blix is he he walks right up and he he doesn't acknowledge you guys at first. Mm-hmm. He just he, he walks up and he's he's looking at the prison, mm-hmm. and then he looks over and he actually looks over at Bruce. He says, mm. "Whoa, you're really tall." Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> How tall are really, you? And you're really old. <laughs> Yes, like I, he's peeking in. I am. I I, I kind of like step back from you a bit. Mm-hmm. Are 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 you? You the don't one? have to back up, old man. Are you the one I'm supposed to meet? Says, no, I'm, I. No, I don't think so. Bruce, I'm supposed to have a job here at the prison. Oh, it's all to the prison. Yep, yeah, that's here. So I. I I don't well, think I'm supposed I'm, to be here too. Yeah, I didn't think I was supposed to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> Are we all here for a job? <sighs> I, I I look up. Can we see where the sun's at? Mm. Let me uh, perception. The check. sun is setting right now, so can maybe, I perception to see if there's somebody Sorry to interrupt? Sure. I'm yeah. Excited. That's fine. Uh, I want a perception to see if there's anybody approaching or if I can see anything in the distance. Maybe? Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Dice. Go. That's not a good roll. <laughs> Fucking nine. What's your plus perception? Seven. Oh, that's nine plus. Speak up. Nine plus one. Speak up. Ten. Ten. Okay. Great. <laughs> Not very good. <laughs> Don't worry. Someone was approaching, so it doesn't matter that you yeah you rolled badly. Uh, so let's continue. Uh, oh. <laughs> when I see him approaching, I'm like, ah, oh, and I okay. nod. So let's get this over with. <laughs> light rain begins to patter on the cobblestone as the sen- uh, sun sets uh, behind the spires and towers of the city. God damn it! You see a male Vidalcan in well tailored clothes approach your group from around the side of the prison. His deep blue face bears a gentle but concerned expression. He raises a hand to hail you and speaks in a low tone as his eyes take in your group and the nearby environs. Are you here to help us find something? That's what my note says. Good. Wow, you're really tall, too. He's not that tall. <laughs> the, the Taller than are you, the though. big elephants, aren't they? No. Nope. Fuck. They're Which just, ones are those? They're just blue people. Yeah, they're the, basically oh, just blue people. So he's just like a normal head. I'm going to stick to my first comment. All right. <laughs> he's taller than you, so that is that is still true. I'm like two and a half feet tall. Yeah, so. yeah. and he's normal, like, human-sized, so okay. he's still bigger than you. Um, so he introduces himself as Nauseous Ven. Uh, he is a noble uh, Vidalgan and a proctor from the office of the Guild Pact. And he is, in fact, here to meet up with you guys all. So. How may we uh, be of service? Yes. We have need of your particular skills to assist in the retrieval of a convict who got loose just before sunrise this morning. He escaped during his transfer to Udzek, a maximum security prison where he would have spent the rest of his days. What did he do? Uh, Sounds dangerous. (sighs) It might be. His name is Kranko. He's the boss of a large gang of goblins that operates around Foundry Street. Can I do a history check to see if I know anything about Krenko? Krenko. Kinkos? Yeah! Dice roll! Mm -hmm. (laughs) I'm not going to do that the whole time. (laughs) Uh, I don't believe you. 21. Oh, shit. Great. (laughs) Keeps leading to 21. Uh, So you would generally know that Krenko is a leader of a street gang on Foundry Street, uh, and uh, he was locked up for uh, murder and inciting a riot, um, but he did eventually uh, escape and was able to uh, get away. Um, And now he's out and about uh, trying to reclaim his spot as leader of the gang. Um, As of right now, the, uh, the gang that he is supposed to be in charge of uh doesn't really know what to do 
um, because there seems to be a conflict in leadership right now since he's gone. Okay. Um, so uh, there's a bit of a, a scuffle between them. Of, uh, it's a little heated there. So Okay. And that's what you would know about Krenko. Okay. Um, Krenko, the murderous goblin, riot starter, info dump. <laughs> <laughs> I can do that, right? And we're like, yes, yes, that's exactly the one. Nobody fucking starts riots on my streets. <laughs> <laughs> oh, darn it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he you planning on starting a riot, little one. <laughs> I don't want to start any riots. Well, that's good. <laughs> Let's start a riot. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. God damn it. Uh, yeah, he allegedly incited a riot that led to the deaths of a guard and two inmates at this prison a week ago. The Ooh. warden decided enough was enough and put through his transfer to Udzik. Uh, Krenko has made a lot of enemies in his time, but the Shattergang brothers are his biggest threat. They're a rival goblin gang specializing in illicit weapons, and they want Krenko dead in reprisal for the murder of one of their lieutenants. The dead lieutenant also happens to be the youngest of the three siblings that run the gang. They'll tell apart the neighborhood to find him once they know he has escaped. So yeah. would we know, would we have, like, general knowledge of the route between both mm. prisons? Uh, yes, yeah. Okay, generally. so we kind of know, like, we have enough information mm. to where we know maybe where he escaped at. Yeah. yeah. How did he escape? <sighs> Unfortunately, we don't really know the details. The The guards, they were unfortunately killed. Um, but we have a hint as that the... Rakdos Guild probably has something to do with it. Probably distracted them in some way. Damn circus freaks. Mm. And, and what's the Rakdos Guild again? The Rakdos are a bunch of chaos-doing uh, freaks and uh, circus clowns uh, that okay. love to uh, perform, but also cause a whole lot of trouble. So. Okay, so they're dicks. Yeah, sure. Freaky, freaky dicks. <laughs> yes, and they're, they're a little crazy, you could say. <laughs> Freaky, freaky, crazy dicks. Alright. So, should we just follow the path? And see where... Well, what, or is he... Well, it's a light rain. Right now. Well, I mean... Well, no, That's just true. the... You said... Like, you were asking about the... Uh, are we aware of the route? Yeah, should we so just following the route? Should so we just follow road, the route? Right. Right. That just well, so, goes. So, so we're going to have to inevitably... Yeah, let me, let me continue okay. here. Uh, he's He will go ahead and hand you guys a, uh, a small folder, a, a dossier oh. of sorts uh, about Krenko. Uh, and he'll continue, uh, normally we let the Azorius deal with this situation, but we suspect that Krenko might have had help from one of the other guilds when he escaped. We are enlisting others to investigate that connection, as it could point to a bigger problem. And uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and speak on the Azorius real quick. The Azorius are basically the police of Ravnica. They are all about law and justice and uh, doing the right thing. Captain um, America. Sure, but even more <laughs> lawful good. Yeah, I was going to say Captain America went rogue after Civil War, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. would go Azorius rogue. would never do such a thing. Okay, um, okay. So, comparison. <laughs> we need you to track down Krenko and bring him back alive. Then we can interrogate him and keep him off the streets for good. I am prepared to give you Ten Xenos right now to cover any expenses you might incur during your investigation. Wow, upon, ten Xenos! <laughs> upon delivery of the criminal, you'll receive 100 Xenos and my gratitude, which I will convey to your guild leaders. <gasps> Under That's no wrong. circumstances should you attempt to question Krenko himself. Okay. Wait. So, we're just supposed to find him but not question him? That's right. We gotta capture him. Just capture him? Just get but him don't talk right. to him. Yeah. This is just like a bounty. Under no yeah. circumstance should you interrogate him. Why, why not? Uh, what if he starts talking on his own? And do we shut him up? Yes. So yes, I'll, you should I'll, def I'll find definitely his mouth do closed, old okay. man. Okay. I'm just... Yeah. Okay. That sounds great. Okay. Uh, so find he, him immediately. Yes. Uh, he, he looks a little shifty-eyed uh, when you ask that. Well, I'm just but, clarification. Yes. Yeah, yes. Can I, can I roll... A insight, or uh, insight check know. to see if he's like being misleading or anything. Like, sure. when you, yeah, okay. go for it. Dice roll. 
<laughs> it's a ten. Oh my god, my chair just broke. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, it's a ten. Wait, hold up. Insight, yeah, it's a ten. Okay. Wait, no, it's an eleven. Not okay. much better. Not much better. Uh, yeah, you can't tell. Uh, <laughs> new chair. <laughs> my fucking chair just broke. Yeah, unfortunately you can't tell if he's being, uh, misleading or not. So. Okay. Well, let's get this over with. <laughs> All right. Leave it to us. Oh. And Great. I trust that you guys can take care of this. We sure can. We sure can. I'll <laughs> smash things. Good. <laughs> Just don't kill Cranko. Bring him back to the Selesnia Granary up north, and uh, that will work just fine. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and uh, I guess I should speak a little bit on Selesnia. Um, the Selesnia Guild uh, is very nature-loving and peace-loving, and they're uh, a little more lawful good, but um, they're quite peaceful. Uh, they're, they're associated with knights and uh, large elephant creatures often, um, and generally nature in general. They don't like to uh, mess things up. They very lo- much like to keep the peace. Okay. Um, so... Um, cool. And so Nasius Ven will uh, go ahead and walk back behind Sawtooth Prison around the side there. Um, so from but here, but he didn't go into Sawtooth Prison. No, no, he went around the side. Well, there. I don't think that, he works for the prison. That was weird. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Think, yeah, something's up. Mm. That's true. Hmm. Um, said that's true. Yeah. <laughs> God says that's true. <laughs> I'm not mad he the goblin heard it too. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, somebody who listens to me. <laughs> so, uh, you guys can go ahead and start checking the dossier that you can yeah. handle. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm definitely going to open um, that up. Yeah. Well, I'm going to get out of the rain before I okay. open it. Yeah, sure. Like if there's a, like a yeah. awning or something. Yeah, there's a small line. awning well, nearby. I'm, oh, I'm going to look at papers in the rain. But oh, I'll, yeah. follow you. <laughs> I'll follow you. I'll follow you. It's only a light rain. Also, though. I'm an old it's man. Okay. I'm getting out of the rain. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Understandable. I can catch a cold now. Kill me. <laughs> <laughs> While you're trying to open the paper. Oh up, come on! <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna. Well, I'm not gonna do anything bad. <laughs> I, I'm not that old. I can't open it. <laughs> I'm not trying. While you're <laughs> these blasted hands move. <laughs> While you're trying to open the paper up, mm-hmm. I'm gonna reach my hand up. And I'm going to introduce myself. Hi, I'm Blix, by the way. Oh, mm-hmm. uh, I see. Nice, nice. Yeah, you thought I was going to do something. No, I thought you were just insinuating that I was incapable. Because no. I am. <laughs> you need help with that? No. I'm Walter. And I'll reach down and shake your hand. Okay. I'm not rude, but I don't know if you want to share. I'm probably dirtier than you are. Mm-hmm. I don't mind. Okay. And oh, my. my name is Bruce. Oh, hey, Bruce. I'm Blix, and I'll, I'll reach my hand out and I'll shake. Or, yeah. Do I need yeah. to history check? Or is there? There's no like negative connotations from Minotaurs in this world, right? It's not like they're an evil race or anything. Uh, you don't even have to make a check that. Right. Way. Yeah. Okay. No, um, gen- the general. That's what I figured. Okay. Mo- most of the time, you'll judge a race by its guild. Uh, the guild is more a, a telling sign. Oh, of if I like bad or good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah exactly. Does he have, do you have grow markings on you or yeah. something? Mm-hmm. I'd be like, ah, oh, grow. Good man. <laughs> I'll shake your hand too. Or I'll reach yeah. my hand out. Mm-hmm. You got big hands. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I, I was gonna say something. Big brain too. I, <laughs> I can uh, see that. This guy's real smart, yeah, huh? Real, the real thinking man. This one. I'm gonna open up the dossier. My, <laughs> my hands do the thinking for me. <laughs> You're not wrong. So what's the paper uh, say there, Walter? So yeah. Uh, and I tell them. Yes. <laughs> Information. Uh, <laughs> on the paper is a uh, a small sketch of a male goblin uh, uh, named Krenko. I, I uh, compare oh, it. I compare it to the goblin in front of me. Mm-hmm. Are they similar looking? <laughs> uh, similar in that they're goblins, uh, yeah. but probably not in. Uh, I'm not not this statue. one. Yeah. <laughs> goblin. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Got a haircut. <laughs> <laughs> Also, he's part of the Zet League, so That's he might true. he might look he's a little more legitimate. Yeah, exactly. Most definitely. And so, has a, a, a couple facts that you uh, that you guys will now know. Oh. Um, Krenko, uh, Krenko, 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 Krenko,
Hmm. Would I know of any areas um, nearby along? Because you said we know the route. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know if that's a history or investigation. Mm-hmm. Any areas nearby that mob figures tend to uh, frequent, like taverns mm-hmm. or something like that? Yeah, yeah. Um, would I need to roll a check, or would I know of anything like that? Uh, go ahead. Well, let me go and finish the dossier. Oh, okay. Has, oh, I didn't. It has a little more information. Okay, so. cool. Um, Krenko was brought into custody by Gideon Jura, a freelancer working with the Boros Legion at the time. Uh oh. Krenko I was found. A lot of them. <laughs> Krenko was found guilty of murdering Dargig, one of the Shatter Gang brothers. And of assault with a deadly weapon against Gideon Jura of the Boros Legion. How long, or how far is the route between both prisons? Like, how far away are they? Uh, I keep forgetting where, like, Probably a couple city. hours. Yeah, it's, okay. it's a pretty big city. Um, and I'm not done with the dossier yet. Okay. <laughs> we got so many questions. Yes. Uh, the weapon on his person at the time of arrest was a magic shiv. Reportedly, it could punch through force barriers. It isn't known how Krenko obtained the weapon. Fucking awesome. I want That's a magic cool, shield. Yeah. <laughs> so. Made out of like a fucking toothbrush. <laughs> but a magic I think, toothbrush. But magic <laughs> it's a, toothbrush. He puts some magic on that bitch. And it does say a prison knife, so it could very well be a toothbrush. Yeah. Um, Krenko's notable associates a include spark. the mysterious Mr. Taz. Uh, unfortunately, no Im- other information is provided ag- around Mr. Taz. And a renegade Izet weapons inventor named Falish, a female human seen around Tin Street. Okay. Can I history check to see if I know any more about them? Sure. What was the second name? Uh, Falish. Falish. F-A-L-I-S-H. History check! Uh, that would be a... 14. 14. Okay. You have probably heard of Izet League people uh, selling weapons to uh, other gangs and mobsters and whatnot. Uh, selling different kinds of weapons. Uh, but no, you haven't heard of uh, Falish specifically. Okay. Um, but it's a known thing that is that sometimes do that. Yeah, would, that makes sense. Would it be a thing within his guild that, like, if he were to bring that person down, mm-hmm. he would g- gain even more notoriety in his guild? Like, mm-hmm. like, do, do is that within the guild frown mm-hmm. upon people that are selling weapons out of shit like that? Uh, like, they might look upon him like, yeah, good job. No, probably Damn. not, unfortunately. Yeah. I was hoping this might help you get over Gary. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, is, is that kind of don't really have like a a hierarchy of sorts they do but uh they usually just like as long as you're doing weird sciencey stuff you're you're probably so he could sell weapons Mm -hmm. rogue possibly to me Mm -hmm. okay and And probably as long as he uh wasn't super obvious about it or anything like that he'd he'd probably get away with it this guy's obvious enough to be in a dossier (laughs) a police dossier Uh i mean come on that's true Let's fucking kill him. I mean, <laughs> let's get him. <laughs> well, I'll try to control myself, but no promises. And you actually don't know where Falch is, except for the fact that he lives around Tin Street. T I N or T? Okay. Yep. T I N. You're taking better notes than me, so. I'm just, <laughs> you There's a lot of information here. So. Yeah, yes. I was not able to keep up. Yeah, I feel like that. I'm yeah. in school. I kept up. <laughs> <laughs> Um, For the most part. So I, th- I, 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 I can give them. you a quick rundown of what you should know. Um, okay. That Krenko and his gang are... His turfers around Foundry Street. Got it. Got that. Um, Krenko is currently... He was found guilty of murdering Dargig, one of the Shattergang brothers. Dargig, uh, I didn't get his name. So the Shattergang brothers is another uh, gang of goblins that they're having a little little fight with. What was um, the little bro's name? Uh, Dargig. Dargig. Yeah. Oh, I said Dargig with a G. <laughs> <laughs> and then also, uh, Krenko also has notable associates like Mr. Taz, although you have no, infor- no other information on Mr. Taz, uh, just a name. And then also Falish. Can I history check that name? Sure. Natty 20, Natty 20, Natty 20. You know 20, nothing. <laughs> that's not, that's not the right dice. I don't want that dice. I like this dice. Right there. Shit. 
That is a... 16. No idea. Right. Nah. Damn it. <laughs> I was hoping for a natty 20. <laughs> I was just seeing if I would. I wasn't going to have to. <laughs> <laughs> I've been around for 62 years in the Undercity. <coughs> I might have heard of Mr. Tass. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And also Fallish uh, on Tin Street as well. And but we know where Tin Street is. Yes, you know where Foundry Street is. You know where Tin Street is. Both well. of those are relatively nearby. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sure. Are they along the route? Like, would the would the prison or would the route he went from prisons gone uh, through Foundry or Tin really. Street? No, it's okay. a little off to the side. Okay. Yeah. Is it common? It's not knowledge? that obvious. <laughs> is, it, is it common knowledge that this is like where those hideouts for mm-hmm. the gangs are? Like definitely, like you know, just everybody in town knows. Hey, that mm-hmm. Foundry Street is theirs. Yep. Yeah. Like, don't oh, fuck yeah. with that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Gotcha. And um, so you guys can. Uh, I'll also remind you that you guys have your contacts that you guys can speak to, and they might have some more information. We have uh, like sending stones to uh, our contacts. No, or we not have to, exactly. Like, talk to them. Okay. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> well, and, but, and it will take a little. But bit of they time. didn't give us a time limit. They just said bring him back. Yeah, exactly. Okay. When did this all happen? Like how recent? Uh, this like, happened. Last... So it's evening right now. Uh, the sun is already set. Um, and this happened earlier this morning. Okay. Him, okay. him, uh, breaking out of his shackles and running away, uh, happened this morning. And then so. that, that happened okay. while they were in transit? Uh, yeah, exactly. While he was being, uh, transported to, uh, where is it? Udzek prison. Um, he was able to escape, uh, with the help. You can assume the Rakdos guild, but it, it's possible that it's a different guild. Yeah. Okay. And, um, so what was the name of the... The we- possible weapons dealer from the Azet Guild? Uh, Fallish. Fallish. Yeah. Seen okay. around Tin Street. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. along the route mm-hmm. that they took, mm-hmm. would it be history or investigation? Are there any areas I would know this gang or similar gangs, like mobster activity, mm-hmm. to frequent? Sure. Go ahead and roll a... Uh, history or investigation? Um, do history. It's the same um, bonus either way. <laughs> <laughs> um, you guys already do know. Eight. Okay. Uh, yeah, you guys already do know about uh, Foundry Street, um, which, yeah, you guys already have since it's Krenko's, Krenko's Turf. Um, and then you do at least know that Fallish uh, is selling weapons and uh, she, she hangs around Tin Street. Okay. I think. Well, Tin Street. I. I I have, I have some contacts we can talk to. Mm. Oh, you might be able to figure out what it is. I might be able to find this Fallish person. Yeah. I've never met him, but... Mm. Or, or we could go to Foundry Street if you think he would go back there that fast. Mm. Well, there is trouble amongst their gang. I don't think they'll go back to Foundry. <laughs> I think we should talk to your contacts. I, th- I think so, too. Maybe that's a good idea. Yeah. Sounds good to me. So, why don't you describe to me... <laughs> I love truth. <laughs> Why don't you describe to me your contacts? Who are they? Um, just a quick description. God damn it. Fucking Gary is on this. <laughs> um, I, so I have two Azette contacts. Mm-hmm. One is a, is a is a sprite that carries messages between all of the Azette laboratories. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then I have, of course, my rival, who I hate my rival, but if I have to talk to him about something important, I will. Okay. Why is he your rival? Because... He... Oh, do we want to go into that backstory? Well, if right if now? you're saying you hate your rival and you don't yeah. want to talk, to him, I'm I'm he's asking him, why is he your rival? Uh, <laughs> well, we both heard rumors of the philosopher's stone, and we're trying to race to see who's going to discover it first. Would I know what the philosopher's stone is? Uh, perception check, or history check, or history check, or arcana something? check. Uh, because it's a history check. Okay, so that is a fourteen. Yeah, the philosopher's. You want to know what this philosopher's like if, stone is? If I've heard of the philosopher's oh, stone. Oh, uh, yeah, definitely. Well, I, as a 62-year-old man, <laughs> I'm very much interested in somebody attaining yeah. the philosopher's stone. <laughs> yeah, well, f- fuck him. <laughs> That's what I say every Yeah, day. just go to the sprite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but if you be, you know, I'll help you, but then you share. <laughs> says, okay, we'll see how things play out. I'll definitely beat Gary. Yeah, fuck him. <laughs> Would, okay, fuck so Gary. Are there yeah. are there any Azet laboratories around Tin Street? Mm. 
All right, so there is, in fact, a laboratory uh, nearby. Uh, yeah, there it, is. It, not that it has a, really a name. It's just one, one of, of the, the many Azet laboratories yeah. that are around. Uh, okay, Steve. But yeah, there's one nearby. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's named Steve. Laboratory, laboratory Steve. <laughs> well, I know I know of a laboratory off, off 10th Street. Maybe we can check there. See if uh, see if the Sprite is over there somewhere. Uh-huh. Would, uh, well, Sounds okay, but amazing. she's... So Phalish, or I don't know if it's a she, but Phalish mm, is selling Phalish. weapons. Yeah, but she's not necessarily like she's still part of Azet, right? Mm, so she yeah. could she could be working at the lab. Mm-hmm. It's possible. She could be. Yeah, it's possible. But we could just check there for her. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then somebody there might know where she is. Yeah, I say Definitely. that's a good start if you guys do. Good plan. I'll toss <laughs> your hair a little bit. <laughs> My mohawk. Yeah, I'll like back and forth on it. <laughs> not side and side. I'm not that much of a dick. Okay, <laughs> okay, that's fine. I like that. And, and Bruce just <laughs> Bruce just takes his hands and puts them out like high fives, like this, and and then as right as you're going to right as you're going to like tap my hand, I move it away and go gotcha. Oh, I'm gonna go for the high five, but I want to see if my sleight of hand will beat yours. Okay. Okay. Are we just doing? Can sure. Do a Me too. <laughs> yeah. I don't do shit. I crit failed. (laughs) I hit myself in the face. Uh, (laughs) I'm a dexterous little bitch. I crit failed. And I slapped. You got the old man. Yeah. I was sad. (laughs) He got you. That would have been been the first time I got a high five in 30 years. (laughs) (laughs) It's it's been 30 years. 30 years. It's been 30 years and and I still don't trust humans. (laughs) (laughs) I still don't trust people. (laughs) Fuck this planet. <laughs> well, shall we go, guys? And I'll, put I'll start. Down. I'll, I'll lead the way. Mm. A halfling too slowed me, and I killed him where he stood. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll, I'll start walking towards. How far is Tin Street? Uh, Tin Street is probably about an hour away to get there. Okay. Uh, is there a quicker way to transit there? Sure, you can take a carriage. There is. It's called Walter. Or Walter. We can get there in thirty minutes, but it might be dangerous. I don't know how you want to do that. Yeah, you could do that. <laughs> no, but I mean, I don't know if it's like a roll and then something might attack us. Oh, uh, you guys can head down there and then we'll just roll to see. Yeah, yeah so okay, that's an option. I know a shorter way, but mm-hmm. we cut through dangerous paths. <laughs> well, that sounds like a good time to me. I like killing. Okay, we'll take the <laughs> shortcut. All right. <laughs> I feel like I'm Gandalf, and and we just had Frodo tell us we'll go through the mines. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. So, I got two. as you guys uh, follow Walter down into the Undercity, uh, although Walter knows his way around the Undercity. And I, and I, I very, I very, like, this could be dangerous. You want to do this? Okay, this is your choice. All right. <laughs> I went with my gut. Okay. Oh, faster way. It is a faster way. All right. It is a faster way. Uh, so... Unless we get into a battle! As you guys are walking through the Undercity along, uh, a small, uh, sidewalk, I guess you could call it. Real um, quick, what's the Undercity... Sorry to interrupt, what's mm. the Undercity like? The Undercity is very literally a large city, but it's all underground. Um, so it has probably a lot of, uh, probably a lot of broken down buildings and, like, they're rotting away and all sorts of stuff like that. Um, you'll probably notice that there aren't very many humans and elves and normal type of I creatures. I would be more at home. Yeah. Than like so. Uh, I think all of us would. Half Ravna- half. Because Ravnica is like just like a planet spanning city, pretty much. Okay. Um, and it's been around for thousands and thousands of years, right? Yeah. Yeah. It it's on top of each. They keep building on top of each other. So yeah. there's miles of city below mm-hmm. the oh, surface. Okay. Yeah. Like city inception. So there's, Pretty yeah. much, it's like surface, it's like Coruscant, pretty much, where yeah. it's like you got, just, it goes on, you, when you're down, if you were touching the surface of the planet, no matter the time of day, it's pitch black, and you're probably dead. <laughs> yeah. From like fumes or something. Uh-huh. Yeah. There's like no oxygen yeah. down there. And, okay. Yeah, generally, it does not smell good down here. Uh, yeah. Not at all. Uh, and the people that you do see like that. Futurama. Yeah. The... Yeah. Yeah. The people that you do see down here are probably scavengers or people with very bad diseases. But we're not going that deep Sickly down. People. We're yes, just cruising that's true. the surface. You are. You are still going through the Undercity. Yeah, though, I so just know not... some shortcuts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, 
but unfortunately, you do guys do run into. We do guys. Uh, we do guys. <laughs> do guys. That, it takes us forty five minutes to do them. <laughs> do run into some giant rats. Uh, so why don't we go ahead and roll? Oh, I hate rats. Oh shoot! Roll. What is initiative? The it's dexterity. your dexterity modifier, roll which for me is a negative one. Eleven. Twelve. The old man goes before you. Twenty one. Hell yes, that's what I want. That's good. Where are we getting approached from? Are we getting approached from, like, did they sneak up on us, or did we run into them? Uh, they didn't surprise you, but they did uh, run up on you. You guys were traveling on a sidewalk, and then um, in a small alleyway slash hole type of thing, uh, some rats scurried out <gasps> and uh, started okay. attacking us. This happens! Yeah. <laughs> well, this happens. I'm sure uh, we'd all actually be used to this. Yeah. Well, maybe not you. Maybe. No, I haven't. Yeah, I haven't been down here in a long time. Yeah, I'm running yeah. that is that guild. Gruel, oh, actually, Gruel is happy to fight though. <laughs> let's let's oh, yeah, be clear. Sure. A long time for Mr. Twelve Years Old over here. Yeah, it's about six years. Wow, a little baby. So I was, yeah, I was a child little boy. <laughs> I am an adult. Hanging around in the Undercity. You're 12 years old! <laughs> I don't know you're 12. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> as it's nipping at your heels. Anyways, uh, it is Bruce's turn. You have four rats, four giant rats, uh, attacking you guys right now. Okay. Uh, Get him, Bruce! Right in front of you. So I'm going to pull out my great axe, and I'm going to s- scream at the first rat. Mm-hmm. Fuck these cats and um, <laughs> these cats. I love it. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I, got, I just nat twenty my first roll. All right. Wait, but are you raging? No. Oh shit! Ooh. You're not even mad. Yeah. You ain't even mad, bro. Not even <laughs> mad, bro. Um, but uh, I assume that will hit. Mm-hmm. And that does. And sure it does. It does one, crit damage. One d eight. Two d eight. Yep. Oh, that's right. You double your. Yep. Yep. Yeah. No, it's not. It's d twelve. Actually. Oh, yeah, 2d12. Oh! Nice. Okay, so... 16 uh, plus... 16 Jesus. plus 4. <laughs> 20. And 20. that's a non-raging... Yeah. 20 and damage. so what What weapon do you have right now? Great, great axe. Great axe, great. Um, yeah, real great. <laughs> yeah, real great. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh... Fuck as, that cat up! <laughs> <laughs> as these four rats are coming towards you guys, uh, you just... Bring up your great axe and slice one in half, cut right in half like a like a sausage. Jesus! <laughs> and uh, that one's dead. So, <laughs> and wow, we'll move nice on. swing, Bruce. Yeah, you immediately Bruce. kill the first one that's upon you. Just slice it in half. Um, and now it is uh, another rat's turn, and that rat will go ahead and attack Bruce uh, since he seems to be in the front. Uh, here we go. That is a 21 to hit. I think that hits you. Yeah, it fucking hits. Unfortunately. (laughs) So, luckily they're just giant rats. They don't do that much damage. And in fact, he only did three damage to you. He comes up and bites your ankle, gnaws at your ankle a little bit. 20% Uh, of my health. (laughs) No, I'm kidding. (laughs) Uh, But you are able to shake him off. Uh, but he does do three damage to you. Um, next, it Fucking is Walter's cat. turn. Okay, so uh, I'm, am I pretty much right behind Bruce? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I would say so. um, and how far away from the from? Oh, sorry, the rats. They're pretty much right on you. Okay. Um, Let's see. Or at least right on Bruce. I want to make sure. Actually, I don't. Do I? You want me to heal you? I'm fine, buddy. Okay, you're fine. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to uh, bonus action shillelagh. Okay. I'm going to just... Because uh, I got my quarter staff, af, okay. quarter staff out. I've been walking with that. Mm-hmm. And I just like kind of thump it on the ground as I cast cantrip. Mm-hmm. And it just out of the end of it, mm-hmm. sprouts a little mushroom. And that's pretty much all that happens. It may, <laughs> might give off a little like sparkle, yeah. like aura, magic aura. But it's just a little like red, red cap with white. Popa dot mm-hmm. mushroom sprouts out of the end of it. Great. And I am going to uh, walk up. Well, do I need to walk to move any of the rats? Move like five feet. <laughs> mm, ain't doing that because I'm an okay. old man and I'm lazy. So I'm gonna, <laughs> um, I'm gonna use the whip like as a fishing rod, mm. and I'm gonna cast thorn whip. Okay. And so that is going to be a melee spell attack. Yep. That is. God damn it. 
not too great. That's a 15. That is good enough. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna hit it for one d6, and I'm gonna pull it. Ten, I'm gonna pull it right up next to me. Okay. Three damage. And, right. and I pull it up next to me. You do do three damage. You whip Doo-doo. it. Make some tiny little rat noises. Yeah. Uh, but it's you did hurt him. I also figured out right now. Uh, Shillelagh is a bonus action cantrip. Nice. I didn't know there were any bonus action cantrips. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. And I am my turn. I'm gonna beat the shit out of this thing with my little mushroom. And now it's <laughs> Blix's turn. <laughs> cool. So I am immediately reaching into my, my satchel that's on my side, mm-hmm. and I'm pulling out a little vial of almost like a fiery liquid. Okay. And I'm going to hurl it, Yep. Uh, which I'm assuming I'm within 30 feet of these You things. sure are. Uh, I would like to hurl it at the back, too. Mm-hmm. Uh, they, so they're, they have... Uh, so. Uh, alchemical fire is what it's called, and it has I have 30 feet of range, mm-hmm. and it's a five foot radius of damage. So if they're okay. next to each other, mm-hmm. they I sure can, are. Okay, mm-hmm. so I'm gonna hurl it at them both. Mm-hmm. And there's three of them left. Uh, he, can he hit three well, of them? But, the, but he just pulled one towards. Yeah, him. I pulled one right next to him. Oh, okay. So he's trying to make sure he doesn't hit us. And okay. He just hits. Uh, but, uh, two so you back. can hit the. Yeah, you could hit the two in the back. Yeah, yeah that's what I figured. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna pull this vial out. And I'm going to go, take this, rats, and I'm going to lob it, and it's going to be a deck save. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, let me... For oh, us? For uh, the rats? Yeah. Yes, for okay. both of them. You have to beat a 13. Okay. Uh, one of them does beat it. Motherfucker. Uh, one of them got 15. Damn. And then the other did not beat it. I only rolled a 3. Okay. So, 3 for one, 2 for the other, because yes. they round up half. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'll take it. <laughs> so you do a little fire damage. I dealt three with my thorn whip, so. Oh, yeah. There we go. And then you dealt, what, 21? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> He's a barbarian. I know. But that was, that's actually fucked up, though. Be- well, I mean, it was a, a crit, but he well, wasn't was even crit. using any of his barbarian abilities. I know. <laughs> All right. So now it is the third rat's turn. They're getting uh, fucked up. They are getting fucked up. Um, but they're still out there, and they're gonna go ahead and run up and bite old Bruce right on the nip his ankles a little bit. Um, and he does get that one. Since he is in a little rat pack, he gets advantage on his attack rolls. Oh, oh. Uh, since he's right next to another rat. Oh, okay. I was gonna uh, say, wait, they have flanking? Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> I was like, or is it actually a rat swarm? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a little more similar to that. Um, he does hit that one. He gets a, uh, a 19 on that one. Damn. He wouldn't have gotten it if he didn't have advantage. But he does hit you. It's because I pulled that one closer. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and again, another... Oh, uh, two damage. Two damage. This two time. damage. Fun. How much... What are you at? Ten. Out of... Okay. Fifteen. Okay. And now time for the fourth rat. Okay. He, uh, he crit that one. Oh! <coughs> Jesus, how are these rats doing so well? Don't worry, I'm geared for healing. Yes, yeah, that's very true. I'm not. Um, so he's gonna do a little more damage. We get, you know, attacked by like something human. Is he attacking me again? If we had time, sure is. If we would have had time, I would have cast Shield of Faith on you. But um, so he does only five damage. Only uh, five? Yeah. Okay. Oh boy. He five. did not actually do as much damage as I, as I, I was expecting. I have five health left. Yeah. So it's a lot of damage for you guys, need... though. So yeah, I'm true. definitely healing you. Mm-hmm. Um, and it is now Bruce's turn. All right. Um, so Bruce, <laughs> and in mid mid battle, Bruce looks at his uh, two partners and goes, mm-hmm. "Oh, they're they're actually not cats." <laughs> and he then takes his great axe and swings it uh, at one of the rats. Go for it. Um, and that's a ten. That does not you hit the rat, raging. though. I know, dude. Because that also gives you resistance to I damage. I know. I should have... You can rage now, and that'll give you Get resistance mad. if they attack you next turn. Yeah, Get that's true. Missed. Get so I'll go again. ahead. Yeah, I'll go ahead. Yeah, okay. I was And you didn't know they were rats! <laughs> 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 I fucking hate rats! And I rage. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, unfortunately, he misses, but uh, it is now the second rat's turn. The first rat that attacked The Bruce. one that's in front of me? Uh, oh wait, hold on. F- Can, yes, I want to. Bo- right, I want to sure. move really quick too. Sure. Yeah, go for it. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead. That might give you opportunity. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Mine. definitely would. 
Then I'm just probably gonna die. Plus, we're also keeping well, you're this guy away from the. Soon. I'm right next to you, and I'm gonna heal you. And we're, and we're keeping him away from the goblin. Yeah. So yeah. these guys are about the same then, size yeah. as the I'm, goblin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. If they're bigger than me, I get extra damage. So this this rat is going to attack Walter since he uh, he did a little thorn whipping. <laughs> I've been attacked by rats in 15 years. But this one is not in the same pack. He is not within five feet of his other rat friends, so he doesn't get advantage on that. And he totally fucks it up. He snips at you, uh, but he I, doesn't. I have AC of 10. Yeah. Nope, still fucks okay, it up. Okay, just making sure. Because <laughs> <I'm like, laughs> a fuck up normally is not a fuck up on me. <laughs> yeah. uh, he nips at your ankles. Uh, Stop it! You almost don't even have to move. Uh, he, I've been fighting rats for 42 years. Yeah, yeah you're used to this. Yeah, exactly. Uh, it is now Walter's turn. All right, so as my first action, well, I'm going to bonus action healing mm -hmm. word on yep. uh, my good old buddy Bruce. Gotcha. Mm. Thanks, bud. Ooh, that's a max, so seven. Nice. Hell yeah. And then I'm going to melee attack with my shillelagh quarterstaff, okay. the rat in front of me. Damn it. I rolled a two. That's so close. Uh, so, yeah, that is a nine to hit. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't hit. <laughs> you uh, are unable to hit the rat that uh, snipped at you. All right. Um, That's it for me. It is now Blix's turn. All right. I'm going to... I assume I'm smart enough to know that the fire is probably the good move on, on these, so I'm going to... Sure. Reach into my bag and throw another fucking vial of flaming hot sexiness mm -hmm. right at these rats. Yeah, you can hit two sexiness. at once. Yeah, yeah so I'm going to hit both of them. Okay. And you got a deck save. Okay. 13. Guys, I think we got a good party. Okay. All right. So again, one of them saves and one of them does not. Okay. Well, let me roll the damage. Mm -hmm. Ouch. That one didn't even roll. No, it's a Damn. one. That was a slide. Okay. Yeah. Um, do they both get one? Yes. Yes, okay. Alright. Well, you Man, did one damage to them. I need to make stronger. <laughs> you're, you're singeing their hairs a little bit. Um, it hit the ceiling. So it kind of like, they just got the edge of it. <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, um... Yep. I want to... Will I get extra damage if I hide? I don't have a... You're not a rogue. Yeah. No, probably like, not. You don't but have sneak you, attack. If, if I did you, it before. If you multi-class, you could sneak attack grenade throw. Yeah. <laughs> oh okay. my gosh. Anyway. Yeah. Good? I'm good, yeah. Okay. Uh, it is now... Hey, man, you've done more damage strength. than I did this time. Still on old Bruce. But now you're kind of healed up. You're almost at full health. No, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. But now, and now you got resistance, right? Okay. So even with advantage, he does not hit that one. Hell yeah. Nice. Uh, once again, snips at you. Not able to do so this time. You were ready for him. Uh, and the... Last rats will go before Bruce's turn. And it looks like he got that one. And he'll do a little bit more damage. Again, snip at your feet, chewing at your toes. Uh, and he does four damage with that one. So four. two. Yes. You take two damage, right? Because you'll, you'll... I only. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because you take half damage right. from piercing your Resistance. Blood. And, uh, no. Yeah. Go ahead. Right. And now it is Bruce's turn once again. Um, the angry, angry minotaur that he is. Hell yeah! Uh, I'm gonna go <coughs> ahead and uh, use my great axe again, and hopefully fuck this dude up. Mob. And um, se you? 17 to okay. hit. Oh, that hits. Okay. That certainly hits. Good. I can't remember how much health you have. Oh fuck yes! <laughs> Max oh, was dead. Max damage, mm -hmm. uh, 16. 18. Great. You're raging, so plus Oh, two. yeah, shit. Plus eight. 18. Shit. That one. Uh, All we need to do is keep the barbarian alive <laughs> long enough for him to murder the, and, in a row. Just keep lining him up in front of him. And, yeah. and as he cuts off his head, he goes, <laughs> bad rat. Bad rat. <laughs> Which one are you killing? Are you killing the one that was uh, the attacking third? Walter? No. Okay. okay. No. Yeah. I moved, yeah. So that was the one that was One right of the ones you toasted. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 So, way to go, Bruce! Dude, I'm psyched about this group. So, even as you cut his head off, you hit him so hard that his body and head go flying off to the side there like a hockey puck. <laughs> uh, Bruce just smiles. <laughs> mm -hmm. You ever kill rats Indeed. before, Bruce? It's fun uh, stuff. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
And anything else for you? Um, and um, I would now that's it. Okay. And now it is the rat attacking Walter. You bastard! You bastard! <laughs> <laughs> uh, he does hit that one though. He got a seventeen. On no! Um, so. Weak, frail. <laughs> he does three damage with that one. Alrighty. And he hasn't taken that. That, that rat hasn't taken much damage. At Just all, the right? three from my thorn whip. They've all taken a little bit of damage. Yeah. But they're not uh, bloody, neither one. Um, the ones in the back that you've put Well, one of them is dead. Yes. And one of them is dead. That's true. Yeah. Uh, two of them are dead now. Two of them are dead. Yeah, there's two left. Yeah. One's attacking Walter. So, which is both much. of them are bloody? That's true. Uh, one of them is bloody. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. Okay, so Probably the one, the, one the, the one in the back, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the one in the back is bloody. Yeah. Okay. Um, and that's my turn? It is Walter's turn. And I'm going to swing it in with my shillelagh! Damn. Damn it, dude. What the fuck? That is... That is a 10 to hit. <laughs> Alright. That unfortunately does not hit. <gasps> I'm swinging wildly with my staff. That's Swing it for me. Swinging again. Uh, and it is Blix's turn. Alright. I'm gonna pull out my, my bone club that I have. Okay. And I'm gonna go try and smash the one... Because I'm assuming it's pretty much... Bruce right in the front, and mm -hmm. then Walter in the middle, and right. then me in the back. Right. So I am going to run up and try and hit the rat that's attacking Walter. Okay. I'm going to try and break its face off. Cool. Yeah. So, uh, let's, I don't know. You no. singed him a little bit, but... Uh... Not that one. Not the one he's attacking now. The one that he's attacking now. Is oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You're right. Hey. Oh, fuck. Um, Dude, this is the most skilled rat we've ever that's fought. five. <coughs> yeah. I don't think I have. Yeah, I don't have. Right, I add. I have proficiency with that weapon. So, so you add okay. two. Still miss. Yeah, seven. I seven. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you do. In fact, still miss. You yeah. charge bastard. up, yeah. and uh, this giant rat is. Uh, it's a not my one. fault. Yeah. <laughs> and when he swings and he misses, I get really mad. I, I yell. You try to rage okay. like the like the yeah. miniature, but it doesn't work. Yeah, it's not the same. <laughs> The Super Saiyan power up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's, it's not very good. Yeah, unfortunately not the same as a, a no. gruel rage. No. Uh, so, uh, now we are going to go back to the Bruce. Uh, or no, I'm sorry. Not yet. I could kill this uh, thing if I just hit it. The rat, the last rat that is attacking Bruce. He's going to swing at you. Unfortunately, he has no friends to have advantage. <laughs> so uh, he rolled a seven to hit, doesn't hit you, mm. uh, and he will go ahead and pass. Now it is Bruce's turn. Bruce, once again. kill the rest of them for us. Save okay. us, Bruce. So um, Bruce is Bruce. gonna do that We're exactly. Uh, <laughs> he's going to run up with his uh, great axe, mm -hmm. and uh, but he's gonna do that thing. Oh, actually, he's gonna be a little bit more dramatic about it. Okay, which doesn't seem to be his character. But he's gonna take he's his. Fun. Yeah, he's having fun. He cries. And the, 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 the <laughs> that kind of dramatic. He's he's um, walking slowly towards the rat while dragging his axe across. Um, oh shit! Like like a horror movie. I, and then he's, I will say he is right in front of you. So you walk a little bit. Okay, I, 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 that, and and he's stupid. And then yeah. he wanted to make it seem uh, like it, it was, was gonna be this really dramatic. big thing. It was very dramatic. Yeah. And then yeah, yeah. He just uh, takes his great axe and swings it over and. Aims for his head, hopefully. <laughs> Swing it all the way over. Let's see what this. Let's see with this. Hit Walter. <laughs> oh yes. Oh, that was so and, close. Um, oh, the two. Yeah, it was a two. Okay. Um, plus six, so uh -huh. eight. Okay. No. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> Don't do so, it. So uh, that unfortunately does not hit the rat in front of you. Oh wait, shit. I'm Hold on. I'm still in rage. I can go Advan advantage. No, oh, okay. that's a reckless attack. So you reckless attacking. Uh -oh. That's a, uh, oh, you don't get reckless attack till level two. Yeah. So okay. it's not rage. No. So no. You can't. That's a okay. level two ability. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's the okay. reckless. It's this one. So yeah, unfortunately you swing at this rat uh, very dramatically, uh, but unfortunately you miss. Which You'll would probably... have been a reckless attack. Yes. <laughs> In fact, a very... Wait, wait, wait. So how, how does... So I have rage for a minute. And that gives you resistance and then advantage on strength checks and also you Sa add a bonus throw. to damage. And saving throws. It doesn't. Yes. Yeah. 
Alright, so the rat in front of Walter. Snipping at Walter's toes once Leave again. Leave me alone! And he got a 14. Yeah, that hits. That does hit. Oh! Oh, Walter, no! <laughs> I'm dying! He bites right I'm related to the rat! <laughs> <laughs> he does 5 damage to I'm you. And also related to the rat! <laughs> <laughs> that was very juicy. <laughs> it was the... It was not yeah that yeah it was the flame it was, yeah it was very phlegm filled <laughs> like like he said before mm -hmm. not related to the rat 100% <laughs> <laughs> he's dying for the is All it right. his turn it is uh Walter's turn now you bastard I'm gonna swing at him with uh <laughs> you god damn it that was a 9 <laughs> it oh, was boy. an 11 for a hot oh. second and then <laughs> boop and then I'm gonna bonus action healing word myself okay Solid choice. Ooh, another Not max. Health. Okay, cool. So nice. I am at... Almost? Almost. I'm at 9 out of 10. Okay. Gosh, I hate the level And one. it is Blix's turn. You son of a bitch! Blix really wants a Pikachu. Do whatever you have to do to get this fucker to stop biting me. <laughs> you can certainly try. Wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> As, uh, as the DM. <laughs> okay. Um, it's going to kill everybody, isn't he'll it? He'll probably just bite you. <laughs> just going to be honest. <laughs> Not with my AC, bro. Let, <laughs> let's actually... Uh, cannon, it took mm -hmm. like a season and a half to mm -hmm. get for Ash to get Pikachu to stop shocking him. Very true. Yeah. Very true. Yes. <laughs> I mean, if the rat bites you, it bites you. Mm -hmm. That's just well, bonding. <laughs> <laughs> well, Bruce is right next to one rat, and actually, I might be able to get away with it. Okay. God damn it. No, I, I'm not dying right I, now. Um, yeah, I'm going to reach into my satchel, and I'm going to I'm gonna try to blow this rat up that's right in front of me. But okay. we're like next to, we're kind of like in a tunnel, right? Uh, you're more like at an intersection. Can I, can I possibly, because my explosion's a five foot radius, so okay. could I toss it far enough to not hit us? Or yeah. What are like, you doing? I'm, I'm throwing another alchemy. Uh, yeah. But, oh. but fire. which rat are you hitting? The one right in front of me. The one right in front of Walter and I. Okay, okay, yeah. But uh, hit him with the far end of the radius. Yeah, you know I want to try mean? and hit him right on the edge. Yeah, you could do that. Yeah. I figured I could, That's but fine. I yeah. wasn't, you mm. know, just wanted to make sure. You can't, and, we're all dead, but yeah, he didn't so, tell you to after you threw it. <laughs> so, yeah, so I'm, I'm mad, I'm gonna say, I'm just, yeah, I'm gonna fucking reach into my thing and... Throw another fire. I'm gonna try and blow this bitch up, so yeah, it's another deck save. Okay. He does not make that one. Alright, hopefully this is a good one. <laughs> and it's a four! Okay. Better. I'll take it. Very, thoughts, very way. burned, oh. uh, but just barely alive. Still. And it is now the rat in front of Bruce. And he is going to take one last attack at you. And that was a 14. No, sir. Does not hit you. So he sniffs at you once again, and uh, he does nothing. Uh, now it is Bruce's turn. All right. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, prepare another axe swing on the yep. rat. There we go. Nice. That's uh, over 20. <laughs> yeah, you hit him. <laughs> okay. Good. Which, which one are you swinging at? Uh, the last rat. There's mm -hmm. only one more left, right? The one that, there's, there's one in front two. of Bruce, and then there's yeah, one in I'm front gonna of I'm going to do the one right? that's yeah. in front of me. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm missing everything. They're both very bloody. Uh, five damage. Okay. Uh, your yeah. minimum damage is like a good roll for me. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm like super bummed. I'm like five damage. Yeah. Five. Don't you worry. You still cut him in half. Still cut oh, his head yeah. off. Yeah. Right in two. Yeah. Fuck that bird. Sam Split Bruce his head really open. Slicing through these things, huh? Indeed. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I'm dry, you asshole. <laughs> you asshole. <laughs> All right. And now it is the rat. In My front nemesis. Of Walter. Yes, indeed. My and uh, I'm gonna kill you, Pikachu. He is gonna try to run away. Uh, he's gonna take an opportunity attack. Yeah, opportunity from attack both. from, from you both. Uh, but he's gonna try to make a quick getaway. You son of a bitch, dice. You've been shitty all night. <laughs> 
plus. Fifteen to hit. Fifteen. Thank you. Now you <laughs> hit. We're both gonna fucking <laughs> blow him up at the same time. <laughs> Jeez. Nineteen. <laughs> <laughs> so you both hit him. You both bring your clubs up and smash it down. Yeah, I on hit this him specifically rat. with the just the mushroom part of mine. Yeah. That's like <laughs> okay. the only magical part of the quarter yeah. staff. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so you both smash him at the same time. One three. of you gets the head, and one of you gets its uh, body, and you both smash him, squish him, yeah, right I did down. Four. And, I did uh, minimum damage. Yeah. Squished him. He only had one health anyway, so... Uh, yeah! <laughs> Teamwork! <laughs> yep. It's a good bonding I'll moment. I'll get the next one! I'll high-five. Yeah. High-five! First yeah. one and... High-five! <laughs> <laughs> great uh, job, team. I'm gonna reach over and high-five Bruce. Did I he actually high-five high five me this I time? I did high-five. Okay. <laughs> okay, great. Bruce high-five. Yeah. Great. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Walter teamwork. doesn't trust right. Bruce. <laughs> you burned hey. me last time with the high-five. Mm-hmm. Too slow. Have you guys hey, you <laughs> son of a bitch! <laughs> you son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> hey, relax there, Walter. Have you ever heard the teamwork song? <laughs> no. And we're going to end it before that. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to stop it right there. That means next episode starts with it. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you guys are ready for that. Oh, man. Dude. All right. Yes. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching, and thank you guys for so much for playing this campaign. It's great. Super fun. Awesome. And we only just dug through the surface of this uh, campaign here. Uh, you guys have only just delved into the Undercity. And uh, it should be really awesome. Yeah. Uh, I'm excited. Yeah. To play. I'm excited exactly. to play as Bruce because I just get to be stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love Bruce. <laughs> the cats. Oh, <laughs> kind of bird is Yeah. This? It's great. Yeah, new characters, new campaign. It's all great. Yeah. Uh, so, if you guys really, really like it, you guys can continue to support us on Patreon. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Please continue to support us on Patreon. It really, really helps us out. And we can keep doing these campaigns just like I did today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, and, yeah, great. I yeah. know. I enjoyed it. The, awesome. Oh, I freaking loved it, and which means I need your support because the more support we get, the more of these extra episodes we can do. Um, I mean, legitimately, yep. we can put. We'll put out as much as we can, mm-hmm. and and we love doing this shit. Yep. If you want to support us in other ways, mm-hmm. if you haven't already, I don't know why, but if you're here and you haven't checked us out in other ways, what the hell? Go <laughs> check us out on Twitter mm-hmm. at Dungeon Junkie. Follow us there. You'll get all the normal episodes, um, yep. and you'll get all of our normal shenanigans. You'll see what Kenny's... Oh, man, the nonsense Kenny puts up there. It's amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> it's I love getting it. pretty good. Uh, amazing. <laughs> and also, what's good is iTunes. If you have not left a five-star review, please do that. Leave a nice comment for us. Tell us how beautiful we are. How awesome. <laughs> we will read them on Real Talk. Yeah, 100%. If you are here and you haven't left a five-star review, please come on, do so. bro. Come on, please. Bro. Come on. I love you. Two uh, seconds. I, uh, first of all, you don't have to because yeah. you're already here, yeah. which is amazing. That's true. That's very but true. But you will get those reviews read out on Real Talk like Kenny mm-hmm. was talking about. Yeah. It's great. Additionally, too, you can always check us out on www.dungeonjunkies.com, um, where you can always have access to the latest episodes that mm-hmm. we stream. Um, additionally, too, we are going to be looking for other podcast hosts to do cross promotion with. So, uh, if you're a nerdy fucking podcast, or if you are other tabletop games, and you and you're looking to cross promote um, and help grow your audience, please reach out to us at. Uh, DungeonJunkies at gmail.com. Yes, sir. That's it. That's the one. Sounds good. Oh, man. Thank you guys so much for listening, and we'll see you guys next time. I love you. Peace. Bye.